What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Stan of SJ Square Photography, bring you back another video today. Now, today's video, yes, you see the title. This is gonna be my top five photo shoots of 2021. Let me go ahead and get this out the way. I have shot with a lot of great models in 2021. So this video was absolutely, absolutely just hard for me to choose just five of my top five photo shoots of 2021. So I just wanna go ahead and say to all the models that I shot at 2021, no hard feelings, but I'm gonna give out reasons why these was are my top five, but I absolutely love all my shoots that I did. And I love all the ladies that I worked with of 2021. And I really can't wait for you to work with you in 2022 and beyond. So, and also disclaimer, uh, I did not include any of my shoots from the, in December, just because I really haven't gotten all those work done. Just very, very rarely. I got some that's completed. So I it didn't do include anything from December uh, of this month. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. So this is number five. So number Number five is Alexis. Uh, the reason why this is my number five is was because absolutely the styling that Alexis did. Uh, so Alexis is a stylist first and model second. So we put this together. I hit her up because I like her styling. So I just told her, yo, style up something and let's just go ahead and shoot because, and I also like the look. She had the bald head going on, as you can see right here. And I went ahead and just, just loved her look and I really wanted to work with her and I loved her styling. I've seen some of her work previously. So that's the reason why I want to work with her. Now, of course, this is a video on my YouTube channel. So you can go ahead and, and it's gonna be linked at the top. Go ahead and check this video out. Uh, check that video out after this video. So let's go ahead and look at some of the photos that I did in this set here. As you can see right here, I absolutely love the, uh, the sun that came through. This is one of my favorites right here. Like I said, I absolutely love the styling. Uh, I'm just gonna go through this pretty quickly. Like I said, if you wanna see it, go watch the whole video or check out some of my Instagrams for some of the uh, photos that's not uh, on my Instagram as well. Like I said, you can see just the, the makeup and the styling was just absolutely awesome. I love the makeup, love the styling. She did this whole retro 80s type uh, with the colors and everything. And I just really, really enjoyed this photo. Once again, you know, my editing style is always gonna be across the board. It's gonna be different. It's not gonna be all consistent. Uh, that's just because I love editing photos. As you know, you've seen on my channel, I just absolutely love editing photos. So I like the different looks you can get from things. So I'm just gonna go through this real quick. As you can see right here, uh, like I said, just really, really dope. These are absolutely my favorite right here. We was able to get that sunset in the back. I love that on the ledge right here. It was on top of a garage. It's part of my garage series. So I uh, absolutely just love these right here. These are probably my favorite in the whole set when she was out there on that ledge like this. Absolutely amazing. So let's just go ahead and go to number four. This is number four of 2021. Number four was uh, Affinity. Now, I love this, this one simply because of the location. I found this location on Google Maps, believe it or not. And when I got there, it was a band. It was absolutely awesome location. This is my very first time shooting this location. Now, I did shoot at this location again. And so this one was absolutely my second um, photo shoot that I did right here. I mean, not my second, but my first uh, I did at this location. So as you can see right here, the actors world was pretty cool. Like I said, you can see the scenery right here. Uh, just absolutely amazing. I think I shot this with two uh, with two light, a two light setup, which was a um, which was a, a arc strip box uh, for the rim light. And then I had the 42 inch uh, for the key light uh, for all these photos here, as you can see right here. But this wasn't one of my favorite when she was active where what really became my favorite was when she was absolutely in this outfit right here. I thought this was amazing. I thought it felt the, I thought it fit the scene very, very well uh, when she changed in this outfit. So th these are absolutely my favorite. Once again, my editing style is always gonna be just different as, as you know, as you watch my channel before. So uh, like I said, love this photo right here. Uh, I'll show you one of my favorites from this set. Um, love this photo. This is absolutely, she absolutely killed this right here. Love the look. But this photo right here is absolutely my favorite. Uh, the reason why it's my favorite, as you can see on the picture right here, how she's just completely cut out by that rim light. And it's just putting all that light on the back to really, really just, just make her pop out of the photo. Uh, the reason why this is my favorite, because because of the lighting, because the lighting I was able to create on this is the reason why this this was my favorite set. Uh, and of course, this one got published in a, in a few magazines as well, this set did, but it was, it was absolutely amazing. This was probably my favorite photo out of the whole entire bunch. Like I said, I did do a video with this on my YouTube channel, so go ahead and, and go click it and link it at the top. But I'm gonna go ahead and go through the rest of these real quick. Uh, just really fast, really, just so you can get a good look of what I really, really did uh, with this set here. And we changed it to the outfit. But like I said, when she was in the bikini and the swimwear, that was probably my favorite look, especially with that with location. I also like these two. These are really, really good as well. 
Okay, so now we're gonna go to number three. Now the reason why this one is number three uh, is simply because this was the very first time I, I got and was able to use my Godox Wide Angle Reflector. I absolutely love this thing. Uh, let's see here, I got this, this is my first shoot back in July. So I only had that thing for maybe, uh, not even a whole year and a half almost. Uh, so, but this was my favorite shoe just because it was a new modifier that I had and, was, and I tried a reflector. I always shot with soft boxes. So to actually go to this reflector and use hard light and absolutely see what this reflector was able to do, it quickly became my go-to uh, modifier, honestly, ever since I used it. And the reason for that was because for this shoot right here, what I was able to get from this shoot right here. So this is the reason why this comes in at number three, simply just because it was my first time using a different reflector, using hard light, and I love the way those photos came out, and I loved it so much. It's the reason why it's becoming my number one go-to modifier is that wide and reflector. As far as this one, I went ahead and went with fashion with this one. Uh, try to go real high fashion, uh, just fashion magazine with this, with the outfit, just everything, just about it. Like I said, JoJo's a natural poser. She's not a professional model at all, guys, but she is a natural when it comes to posing and models. She loves being in front of the, a camera, so that's what makes her a natural, and it's really, 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 really easy to work with people like that and models like that. Uh, once again, it's just, it's just amazing work uh, with JoJo, but as you can see, just different editing style as usual, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and flip right this. I'll try to mute these colors on this one because I figured that's more magazine editorials type style, so I muted the colors a lot. It's not as bright as I normally do. Um, but as you can see right here, just love the photos, love the look. Um, it was just absolutely awesome. Uh, absolutely love this outfit. This is probably one of my favorite photos right here. Uh, as you can see, I love this photo right here. Uh, this is probably one of my second from the set. I love this photo, like how she just looked angry, has, like she can't get a taxi, so she's angry about it. I love, she was able to express that in the photos. Uh, just like I said, just loved it, loved it, loved it. Of course, I shot more mostly with the Nikon Z7. I'm gonna go through this once again, this video, I'm gonna link at the top. You can see it, go check it out see more of these like I said I love this one just simply because of the wide air reflector and what I was able to do in the pictures and so what I can do with that that modifier this is the reason why this one came at the number three so number two this is number two now this is number two number two is with Mel I have shot with Mel before I got a few videos with her right before this one once again I'm gonna link this at the top you can go check it out uh this one was the reason why this one was my number my number two simply because it was my first time I was using a 35 1.2 I bought it maybe a couple weeks before this shoot and it was my first time using it during a shoot uh, i always thought vanilla uh, 35 was a vanilla focal length so i really never really purchased and decided to get one i never shot a 35 you know i got a 24 to 70. i just never really shot it i just always thought it was vanilla i never really but i was inspired by a few photographers that shot at 35 and it just really it really captivated me how they was able to put the scene in the photos and tell more of the story so that's the reason why i went out and bought the 35 and really tried it out for myself so i love this one simply because it was the first time i used the 35 and i was able to really kind of use it at my at my glory now most of the photos are shot with my z7 and the 105 and 45 but mostly the 105 is one of my favorite sets uh but the reason why i like this one is because of my first time i was using the sigma 35 1.2 so let's just go ahead and go through some of these i uh, love these like i said these are going to be my favorite sets this is shot with the 105 I just love everything about this one. Like I said, we went real. This is another one. Just I went fashion with, and just really, really try to put it out there. I love the location once again. Love, love the depth of field with the 105 that gives you, and just really puts our focus on there. But like I said, I love the photo once once again. Mel's an awesome model. Uh, she knows exactly what she's doing. Uh, posing with her as she goes and just goes through her sets, and 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 she just knows how to pose. You know what I'm saying? Not only just not posing with the body, but she knows how to pose with a facial expression, and that's what makes her a really, really really great model because she knows how to pose her eyes, her mouth, just her facial expression, period. And that what makes her a really, really great model. Uh, so let's just go through this. I'm gonna show you probably one of my favorites in this whole entire set. Uh, probably this one right here. This right here was probably my favorite photo in this whole entire set. Uh, like once again, this goes back to she's posing her eyes, her her, her face, her, ma her mouth, along with her body. Uh, so this is probably one of my favorite uh, shots from this set right here. Uh, and also this one. I love this one too, how she got the umbrella on the thing. This is one of my favorites as well. Once again, this got published in, in a few magazines. Just this set alone got published in a few magazines alone. So let's just go ahead and go through this show you the rest of it like i said most of these are from the 105 but i do got some from the 35 as well once again i'm gonna link that video top so go check it out i uh, heard something with the 35 so uh, i like this one right here with the 35 like i said i was kind of still getting used to this focal length so you know I, was, I'm, I like this one right here with the 35 as well too this one's a really good one like i said it mostly came down to our posing but i really did like it but i'm gonna show you my favorite one from the 35 was coming up just go through these real quick 
uh, right here. This is my favorite one from the 35. I absolutely love this photo, this posing that I did. I love the angle I was able to get with the 35. And this right here, this picture alone made me say like, oh yeah, I can work with the 35. I can get great stuff with the 35. So let's just go ahead and go to number one, number one on the list. Uh, this one right here is absolutely my favorite photo my photo shoot. The reason why it was my favorite photo shoot is because all the planning that I did behind it. I used the app called Middle Note to plan this. Uh, it's an awesome app. It was my first time using that app and I was able to show that you understand the power behind that and it's absolutely amazing when you want to do and plan a photo shoot to the T. I'm talking about I planned everything to the T from the outfit to the location to the scheme, to the color board. I'm talking about, I did everything on that middle note and I was able to send it to the model, Jessica, and she was able to collaborate on there and give me her feedback as well. So I absolutely love middle note. It was absolutely awesome. Ever since then, when I really want to plan a uh, shoot, I will go use middle note. Once again, this is my first, uh, the reason why I use middle note because this shoot was meant to be for submittal. It was my first time submitting to a magazine. So I really, really wanted to plan it. And it took me probably about two months almost to plan this shoot and to get everything right to a T. So this is the reason reason why this one's my absolutely favorite photo shoot simply because all the work I put behind planning it and then the sh and uh, and it paid off and it really paid off as you can see in these photos so let's just go ahead and go right through this uh, once again like I said I, we, we picked I picked chose these outfits and, and it just came out amazing um, I'm gonna go through these pretty quick right here as you can see, I absolutely love this right here. Once again, she's another one that knows how to pose not only her body, but a facial expression along with her eyes and her mouth, the relaxing. She knows how to do that because she's a very, very been doing this for a very long time uh, modeling. Uh, once again, this is some more just some different looks right here. I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly. Once again, I got a video, so I'm gonna link it at the top. So just go check that out, please. Uh, just more of the stuff right here. Like I said, I shot this with the Nikon Z7 and 85. Of course, I shot this with strobe, but absolutely my favorite shots came from this from natural light. As you know, I shoot a lot of strobe. I do shoot natural light, but this right here, my set right here, my favorite photos of 2021 came from natural light and it came from this shot in this, in this shoot right here. Uh, once again, I'm just gonna go through these real quick. This is, the, this is where it became natural light and I love the outfit that she was in, was in this big field. And once again, she just kills the pose and I was just able to get my angles and really focus on my angles. And that's the reason why it's a, uh, important to work with a professional because you can just really focus on your composition of your angles to get everything right when you got a model and you don't have to really worry about posing as much. Uh, as you can see right here, just just absolutely gorgeous stuff, man. Uh, like I said, I shot most of this with all with the 45. Uh, these right here. Uh, here comes with the Sony right here. Like I said, you can just see the two different things from her eyes being closed and then to being open. It's a totally two different looks. It's two different type of looks. Uh, but once again, they just came out awesome. And while these was just, was just, uh, you know, natural light that I used. So just looking at all these, man, uh, they just came out freaking amazing. Like I said, I'm going to link the video up top. Please go check it out. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all the, the ones that got submitted. Like I said, this this one got submitted probably in over five magazines from this set alone. This photo right here alone is my favorite photo of a 2021. It's my favorite photo from the facial expression to the way I edit the photo and everything. This was with a strobe, it was with a 45 Nikon uh, Z7 with the strobe, but I absolutely just loved everything about this photo right here. That's why this became my favorite of 2021. Uh, yeah, I could probably say it's probably one of my, yeah, I could probably say it's my favorite uh, photo of 2021. Um, let's see here. There's some more two coming up right here. Absolutely love these right here. I love this one right here. This is with the 35, absolutely loved it. Another one with the 35, absolutely love this photo. I'm talking about, <laughs> I, I gotta talk, I almost gotta take back what I said, it's my favorite one, but I love this photo right here. Once again, come back to us, facial expression, man. Uh, just great posing right here is another one. Like this, this set just, it, like I said, got published over five magazines. So I just absolutely love this photo right here. So that is the end, that is my top five photo shoots of 2021. Once again, I really, really enjoyed every single model that I worked with in 2021 and cannot wait to work with them again in 2022. Like I said, this was absolutely a very, very hard choice for me to do, but I gave you my reasons behind it. And I'm not saying I did not enjoy the other shoots that I did because I did. And there was a lot of them that I, that it took me a while. Like it took me two weeks to actually break it down to my top five. That's how much, uh, shoots I had that I felt like it was it could have been on this on this list right here like it took me two weeks to even think about it and just break it down the ones that was my top five and absolutely give legit reasons behind it 
once again, I really hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, I did this something different because a lot of channels, photography channels haven't done this. So I just want to bring something different to y'all guys. Uh, put down below or link down below uh, in your comments which one's your top five photo shoot. Give me a reason why. What was that? whatever your favorite photo shoot? Like I said, DM me on Instagram if you want to show me the photos. I'll be more than happy to look at your photos. So DM me on, on and, uh, IG to show me your photos and tell me the reason what was your favorite photo shoot of, of, of 2021. Uh, once again, I love all the models that I work with in 2021. Can't work with the work for them again. And of course, if you like my work, please consider uh, joining my channel, subscribing, doing all that good jazz. And also, Happy New Year's to y'all guys. This is my last video until 2022. I really hope y'all want to thank all the support that I get that y'all gave me in 2021. Hopefully to bring it over in 2022. I get more, I got more content, a new series coming on the way that I think y'all will really, really enjoy. So just Happy New Year. And to all my peoples out there, thanks for the support. And to the next video, peace.